Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is gonna be my first video. I'm currently at a friend's house. I'm using his microphone and stuff, so future videos won't be as good quality. I'm just gonna let you know that right now. So I'm gonna be attempting to make my own little version of how to get good at Brawlhalla. It's a pretty simple video. It's gonna be a shitty first, but yeah, I need to start making videos sometimes and I could throw this together in about an hour, so have fun watching. Alright, well, before this video starts, go in the description below and subscribe to my friend Tristan. He streams and he does videos of a game called Struce. It's a Roblox game, sort of like Fortnite. Some of you might like it, some of you might not, but go subscribe to him just because he's letting me use all of his shit. <laughs> so, the first quick tip that I'm going to give is about choosing your main. And you've always wanted to choose a character that feels good or that plays good, but never try playing a character just because you know they're broken. Try choosing easy weapons, like if you're new, try choosing easy weapons like axe, lance, or spear. Those are pretty basic weapons to get into. So most of the good legends, in my opinion, have one string damage builder, however you want to call it, and then one heavy hitter. I myself, I play Barraza. Barraza's got blasters. Blasters can do extremely well for doing mad damage really quickly. And also, I love blasters. It's guns. You, you can't really go wrong on guns. And then axe, you just you could just sear. Or I don't recommend sig spamming, but if it comes to that, Barraza's got some nice ass sigs. Try thinking about choosing different characters sometimes. At first, you might think like, oh, Everyone else is playing Mordex, I might want to play Mordex, but then you, you like, you play random or something, and you get, for example, Yumiko, and you might really like Yumiko, and you might be absolute dog shit with Yumiko, but you enjoy her. In my opinion, that's better than playing a character that wins, because you need to play a character that you enjoy. My second quick tip is trying to understand or and know your opponent. In the beginning of every game, you should attempt to analyze what they do. And by analyze, I mean like, see how they dodge, if they dodge a certain direction, stuff like that. Most people start the game off with dash jumping into Nair. They'll just dash jump near you. And if you learn how to get around that once, a lot of other people will probably do it and you could probably get around all of them. A lot of people would dash jump near. And I don't know, maybe you could dash jump recovery and get below them and hit them. I don't know, because I don't know how yet. I'm still gold. <laughs> Try to pinpoint if they dodge in a certain direction. If you watch my video, you're probably stuck in early gold or silver. And most people in those rankings will dodge inwards. I would try my best to go into training mode and set the bot to dodge inwards and try comboing off of that. Speaking of dodging in, make sure you yourself don't dodge in. A lot of other people are learning how to punish dodge in, so if you dodge in, big possibility they're gonna punish you. Try dodging in different directions. If you dodge the same way every time, they will always punish you. Let's say you dodge up every time. They will eventually start punishing your dodge up, but then you start dodging in. They will notice that you're not dodging up anymore, and they'll try to punish an in dodge, but then you dodge a different direction after that to even screw with them even more. Sometimes in ranked, there could be a lot of tryhards. I wouldn't recommend trying to play ranked casually. Ranked isn't really supposed to be a casual thing. You're supposed to be trying hard to win. If you don't care about your rank, then don't play ranked. Third step of how to get good at Brawlhalla. Try managing your stress and anxiety. Your self-worth is not related to your skill level at all. There's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna make fun of you for being silver or gold, but listening to them makes it so they win. At one point in their life, they were silvers being made fun of by diamonds all the time. Those people are just trying to get a reaction out of you. If you don't give them the reaction that they want, they will no longer bully you. Don't stress to get better. Getting better while being stressed will never work out. Your brain needs to be constantly active and being stressed will not make you active in a healthy way. What I do is after I lose two games in a row and I'm starting to get mad and ranked, I will just completely get off. I'll go into training mode and I'll just fuck around for a bit and I won't get back on ranked for the night. Number four is training mode is your friend. 
There are so many options for you in training mode. You can make a bot dodge in any direction, jump in any direction, choose who you're fighting, and make them jump in place or play evasive or anything you really want. In training mode, it gives you access to all cosmetics, and sometimes it's just fun to wonder, like, what if I was a Lin Fei main? And then you go to Lin Fei, you put Gold Forge colors, Gold Forge guitars, and Gold Forge cannon, and I don't know, it, it might be something I just like, but <laughs> if you want to improve, training mode could be really good for you. Like I mentioned earlier, if you're trying to practice certain dodge reads, you can make the bot dodge in any direction you want. If you watch anybody else's how to get good at Brawlhalla video, they will mention training mode so many times because it is very helpful and I recommend you do it a lot more than you probably are. A quick fun fact is if you go into offline play to go into training mode, there is actually a tutorial and it's basically free gold. You get 450 gold just by doing it, so yeah, you should go do that. I'm only a gold, so maybe I'm not the best person to get advice from. I am learning myself. Tip number five is follow me on Twitch, please, because I'm learning shit. You can watch me learn shit and maybe also learn shit. And I also need followers. Everything's in the link. My friend's YouTube's in the link. Discord's in the link. And my Twitch is in the link. Yeah, you should go do that. Do it right now or else I'll cut your nuts off. Well, thank you for making it this far in the video. Please like and subscribe and comment down below if I helped you at all. Thank you for watching. Bye.